Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll discuss about the calculated field in Dynamics 365. So the calculated field was introduced from CRN 2015 onwards by Microsoft. So since then, this field is being used uh, in the later versions of the Dynamics. So what is calculated field? So the calculated field is a kind of virtual field on the uh, entity. Uh, and the, the data which will be saved on the calculated field is not committed to the database. So it will be as a virtual data on that entity. So uh, that field we can use on the views, forms, or even on select queries of the SQL database. If, if you are using the on-premise dynamics, then on that you will have the backend SQL database, uh, and you can use the select a statement for this field. So basically it is a virtual field and data will not be committed to the database. So uh, then uh, what, what kind of calculations it can be performed? So calculations can be performed including different data types uh, in the sense like uh, you suppose your calculated field is a string type and you want to do the calculated calculation based on the you know decimal decimal value or the numeric value or if you want if you, if you have any other data types like currency data type if you want to mix up the uh, calculations with the different data types and display that one that you can do in the calculated field so uh, the, how the calculations will happen it will be happening as a real time one so like whenever there is a, re a request to fetch the data for this calculated field immediately the retrieve message will be called and the calculated value will be uh, retrieved into that field so it will happen real time calculations so now thing is how it is designed in the dynamics so this is the simple diagram i have drawn uh, to describe that so uh, in the application layer we will have the uh, dynamics 365 applications as a ui in the dynamics 365 ui will have we will we will log into dynamics so in the back end we will have the ms crm data, uh, data database there so in that database, we will have the several tables, like when we create the any entity, with respect to that entity in the back end, we will have the table. So the, the table is called the base tables. On that base table, we'll have the calculated field created. So whenever we'll create the new field as a calculated type, the, the field calculated type will be created on that table and it will be defined, it will be as a virtual field, but its data type behaved as a calculated one. So whenever the new calculated field is introduced to the particular entity or we can say table, then with respect to that, what logic we have defined, uh, like how the calculation should happen, that logic will be transferred as a function and that function will be stored in the different uh, different section, function sections. But this, these are present in the same database, uh, like MS CRM uh, database only. So uh, what will happen, see from the application, if, you, if there's a request, the request to retrieve the value for the calculated field from that base table i mean from that entity then the calculated field look for the functions which we have which we have designed like this is in the in the dynamics will design the uh, will design like what calculations we need but in the back end there will be functions created so it will call that function to retrieve the value and then value is retrieved then it will display into the result so this is very simple uh, concept uh, how this is uh, a calculated field is designed now coming to the uh, use of this calculated field so can we use in the plugin so if if we if the, since this is a virtual field and so the data i mean the data is not committed to the database so you can't use uh, this calculated field as a trigger point for your workflow or the plugins however if you want to retrieve the data of this field then you can use in the retrieve message that one of the uh, plugin messages retrieve uh, there you can use this field value uh, in the case uh, if post operation plugin you can use that in the post image so there are the two locations uh, where we can find the value of the calculated field now uh, what are the data types uh, of the field uh, when we create in the dynamics the calculated field can be converted to that so they are the like single line text uh, option set values data types two option set values whole number decimal numbers currency and date times these are the data types that can be uh, that can be created as a calculated field in the dynamics now thing is what are the different types of calculations can be done by the calculated field so mostly uh, the three types of operations uh, the calculated field will be doing one is the numeric calculations see if you want to calculate a, if you want to multiply two currency two number decimal is or decimal or the uh, integer numbers you can do that calculations 
if there's uh, some maths on the dates, like if you want to add or uh, subtract the dates uh, uh, from the dates date value, those things you can do that. And if there is any formatting or concatenation of the text, uh, means a uh, single line string or the multi line string, if you have the uh, concat concatenations or the formatting, then you can do those calculations or uh, using the calculator fields. So when we use these calculator fields, there are some uh, points we should remember uh, with that. So I have noted the few points. There may be some other points maybe, but we'll discuss these points here. So the uh, the uh, attributes uh, uh, we, we, when we design when we create the calculator fields, then the attributes which attributes we can refer in the design. So the we can refer the attributes from the immediate related parent entity of that calculated field. So see uh, the calculated field we are creating for entity B and the parent entity is A. Then from this entity B, we can refer the attributes of the parent entity. So not from the child one. So if there's immediate parent entity that we can refer that one. So the only attributes from the immediate parent entity can be used in the calculated attributes. And these attributes we can use on the different queries, charts, and visualizations, whatever we are having, we can use that. And we can use up to 10 different uh, uh, calculated field on those, uh, uh, on those charts or visualizations where we want to use. The calculated attributes can be referred to the other attributes. Yeah, so calculated, when you are creating the calculated attributes, you can use the another calculated attributes, but you cannot reference its uh, own calculated attributes. What will happen when, in, see, in the design of the calculations, if you are using the same calculated attributes in the design, then it will, it will be circular reference. So the calculated attributes will be referencing itself. So it will be updating uh, itself again and again. So it will go into the circular reference and it will have the later on, it will give you the error. So in the design, you can you can refer the calculated attributes, uh, another calculated attributes, but you cannot reference itself. Also, in the calculated attributes, if you want to use the roll up roll up data field, you roll up uh, fields, then you can use the roll up field also. Then uh, uh, using, using the calculated attributes, if you want to set the some you know properties of that field, like this minimum value or maximum value, if then uh, if it is a whole number field and if you want to set the minimum value and maximum value then you can't do those things so it means you can't set the properties using the calculated field and since uh, as i mentioned before since this is a virtual field so you can uh, so and it is only present and retrieve so you can't use this field as a uh, trigger point for the uh, workflows or for your plugin so um, Sometimes, uh, uh, this is the last point, the calculated attributes don't have the values for the, when a user with the Dynamics 365 for Outlook, if uh, for the Outlook is offline. So in the Dynamics, we have feature like we can connect with the uh, Outlook and from there we can, you know, trigger the updates in the Dynamics. But when you are having the Outlook offline and then in that case, you will not have the calculated values there. So these are the limitations uh, with the calculated field. I hope now you have the much information on the uh, calculated field. Now we'll see the demo of that. Okay, so here we have logged into the Dynamics. And here I have the two entity, uh, university, uh, university entity and the student entity. So the university entity is my parent entity and the student entity is my child entity. So I will be creating the uh, calculated field on the student entity. So uh, uh, I'll, uh, here on this uh, form, I will be adding the couple of uh, uh, calculated field here. So I have opened my solution. Uh, this is my solution and where my uh, custom entity is here. So I will be creating the new field, uh, calculated field. So what I'll do in my demo, uh, I want to calculate the uh, year of the, I mean, the student age based on the date, uh, uh, the date of birth given in this field. So I'll go to the my fields here from the solution. I'll create the new field. And let me give the field name, a schema name, student age. Okay, and you can see I have the different data types. When I'll select the data types as whole number, then I will have the field type here. So by default, all the fields will be simple, but you can convert that field as a calculated field or the, or the roller field. So I will be creating this field as a roll up here. So I'll select the calculated 
sorry i will be creating the calculated field here so i will select the calculated here then uh, you can specify you can see here uh, minimum maximum value you can't set this is what i was talking in the last point so using the calculated field you can't set the minimum value or maximum value so you can you will not have control on that so here i will select the calculated field and when i'll uh, save it after that i can edit my design how it should be calculated so i'm going to set the student is uh, based on the date of birth. So first I have to create the field here. So field is created. Now I can click on the design here. And here what will have will have the conditions and the actions. So condition is specify when you want to trigger your uh, calculations. So see uh, I want to trigger this my calculations only for those records which are active. So which the, the record like all the student records which are active for those ones I want to trigger and it should have the date of birth value in that. Okay, for those uh, records, I will be triggering one. So I'll take the conditions and while taking the condition, you can see it is taking the entity as a uh, university here. So what will happen uh, since uh, on the uh, a student here on the student record, I have the university lookup. So this is the parent entity for my uh, a student entity. That is why the immediate, rela immediate related uh, entity is the uh, university entity. And that is why I'm finding here in my a condition here so i will be i can if i want to refer this entity i can use that one like that if you have a, a number of the immediate parent related entities you can use that for your conditions so i'll, t I'll select the current entity and its status should be equals to active i'll select that condition equals to active okay and i, I will add another condition and that is on the current entity i will have the uh, student data birth contains the data Okay, when these two conditions are met, then I'll do my calculations. And what calculations I'll do? I will set the age of the student. So since uh, the age will be the difference of the years, or we can calculate the number of days, and then we can divide by 365 like that. So let's take the difference in the year. So you can see we are having the, this is a whole bunch of different functions which we can use. So these are the functions for the date uh, date date validation. So you can see there are several functions which, which we can use and you can find some of the fields which, which you can use for your conditions, for your logic here. So I will take the uh, difference in the uh, difference in the uh, years here and I will have the uh, uh, two day two different dates here so one is the uh, student uh, date of birth and another is the now now is the current function which will give the current date uh, current date time okay so i'll set this one now you can see the uh, age of the student is set on that i'll save this and i will put this uh, field on the form so already um, i think i have opened the no, no, this is my university form. So I'll open the uh, student form here. Okay, main form. I will place that field here, a student is here below the date of birth. I'll save and publish. Okay, my form is published. I'll go to the my dynamics here and I will try to create the new record here. So uh, let me refresh this one more time. Okay, so I'll give the student for something like that dummy name. I'll take the university, then I can ignore this one. So I'll setting the date of birth as uh, four. Uh, 14 uh, 14 4 2000 this is the date of birth of this student so when i'll save this then you can see the immediate calculation will happen and it will display the uh, uh, age of this student so if you'll we'll change uh, any suppose you are changing the year here then uh, as soon as you will save uh, as, as soon as you will save then immediate retrieve method will be called and it will set the value to that so every time uh, like some update is happening on this record then uh, since this field is present on that form and 
for that the retrieve call will be happening and when whenever there is a retrieve call on this uh, field anywhere like if you, whether it is in charts or the any like views or if you have used anywhere this field and this uh, uh, use of this one then immediately the updated value you, should, you will be getting based on the logic of what you are having here so i believe now you have understood the uh, how to create the uh, calculator field and i hope you will like my video and thank you for watching this video guys